Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. This week's cocktail is brought to you by Dumas. So it's called a Dumas Rum Punch. The ingredients, two ounces of Dumas Rum, one and a half ounces of passion fruit juice, one ounce of orange juice, a half ounce of lime juice or a half of a fresh lime, and a splash of grenadine. So to make the Dumas Rum Punch, you're going to add the rum, the passion fruit juice, the orange juice, and the lime into a cocktail shaker filled with ice. Shake for about five seconds. In a glass, add the ice and pour from the shaker. Drizzle the grenadine on top. Garnish with an orange slice and enjoy. Oh, cheers, Let's you see. guys. Cheers. Oh to Dumas. Yes. Dumas. Dumas rum. I'm excited to taste this. Let's Me see. Me too. Usually, you know, rum isn't what I go to, but I do need to switch it up because other things be having me fucked up and maybe I can just have a good time. I was watching TV the other day, one of my reality shows, and they were saying, you know, drink rum if you be getting too lit. And mm. that's what they be saying. Yeah, because maybe you'll calm down a little bit and just have a good time <laughs> instead of like turn it all the way up. So, I mean, it tastes really good. And I just want to let you guys know Dumas rum is um, it's aged in for 14 years in American whiskey barrels. So it has mm. a nice, strong note of vanilla in it. I taste the um, vanilla. Mm-hmm. And I love good. a vanilla drink because I like whiskey, too. This tastes like vacation. You know how people say gin makes you sin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> rum makes you come, <laughs> baby. Ah, hey. ah. And you know what? They delivered this bottle to my apartment. Y'all know I'm all about a delivery service. If you go to drinkdumas.com, you can find out where it's um, sold. It is sold in the D.C. area for sure. But you can get it delivered oh. to a lot of different places. It came in the mail. It came rather quickly, too. I might have to. Did it come quickly, huh? <laughs> it did come quickly. <laughs> all right. That's mm-hmm. my type of party. Shout out to Dumas <laughs> Rum. This is amazing. Also... Uh, we did not make this drink. Shout out to our tipsy homegirl. Her mm-hmm. Instagram is your tipsy homegirl. Follow her on Instagram or TikTok. She does have mobile bartending services. She can help you learn how to bartend. If you want to act like you rich, when a bitch comes over, you could hire her. Mm-hmm. She'll come and be your bartender for the night or the brunch or the morning, whatever you're trying to do. Um, it's great for birthdays, girls' nights, date nights. Follow your tipsy homegirl. Shout out to Jessica. Thank you so much for making yes, this. Thank you for the drink. Yeah. Amazing Dumas. And she thick. And she thick. And she fine. And she fine. She fine and thick. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, yes, you heard. Heard. Hi, girl. <laughs> um, Welcome so, back to Cocktail Share Discussions, you guys. Hey, you guys. As you already heard, our very special guest, we have Sunny MF. What's the MF stand for? Uh, you can cuss. Uh, no, <laughs> it stands for motherfucker. You know, no, but it stands for it stands for that. And if it was like PG, it would be mother's favorite. Oh, oh nice slip, right? Yeah, that. nice yeah. a good one. Got to. I'm got glad to. you have that. You know, I got to be politically correct. Yeah, sometimes. if you're ever on a conservative yeah, show, you know, it's but like, not mother's here. favorite. Not here. It's motherfucker here. Here is motherfucker. I have fucked some mothers. <laughs> 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 oh, me too. <laughs> and some mothers fuck me. <laughs> That's the well, room. It's the room. We already got started. Okay, yo. look at you. Before we dive <laughs> into the show, I want to remind everybody I will be in South Africa for New Year's Eve with Paradise and Vibe. You are welcome to come, men, women, all the people. If it's your birthday, come celebrate. If you don't got no friends, come make some. If you scared to travel, get over it. Come to South <laughs> Africa, turn up. It will be fun. I will be there. Go to paradiseandvibe.com to save your spot now. Okay, and then I want to remind you guys, once again, the book is back on sale. Mm. Classybased.com if you need some recipes. If you have been burning food a lot, if you make the macaroni and cheese for Thanksgiving and it's watery and nobody touches it or it looks like a brick or maybe your greens just taste like spinach. You just are lacking flavor and you don't know what combination to use. I got you. Don't worry. Classybased.com. That's K-L-A-S-S-Y-B-A-S-T-E.com. It's so funny because I was talking to a friend of mine and he was like, um, who's going to be cooking for us in 20 years? 
He said, the recipes are missing. He was like, who's oh. going to be cooking? Y'all better get classy based because who Come is going to be cooking? Come on. I can't cook for everybody. Uh, you hear me? Y'all better get it in there. Sonny, you know how to cook. Oh, yeah. I know how to throw down. Oh, you know how to throw down. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. For sure. Yes. I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> all right, y'all. Make sure you join Patreon if you want bonus content. If you just want to thank us for giving you free content, mm-hmm. pay us on patreon.com slash cocktail, C-O-C-K-T-A-L-E-S, and we greatly appreciate it. Also, get your live show tickets. So coming up next, we have Chicago, October 16th. November 10th, we will be in Huntsville, Alabama. And December 10th, we will be in Houston, Texas. So mm. all the tickets are on sale right now. Do not wait until the last minute. If you get to the website a month before the show and all the good seats are gone, duh. Don't DM me talking about, do you it's think nothing, you could get me a ticket? It's nothing I'm going to do about it. It's nothing Medina's going to do about it. We're not even selling the tickets, you guys. So don't sleep on us. And know that you'll still have a good time in the back. You sure will. And so we might, you know, come out into the audience. You never know. But mm-hmm. don't be DMing us talking about these seats. Uh, we famous now. So. <laughs> uh, with that being Let them know. Yeah. With Let that them being know. said, if you are interested in sponsoring this famous live show, uh-huh. please do send us an email. What is it? The new one? Cocktails.pod. Uh, we'll put it in the description mm-hmm. box below. You can just email us and let us know. What um, what kind of sponsorship you want to do? That could be for the live show. It could be for the regular show. Maybe you just want to do social media. Whatever it is, we are accepting all of the sponsorship opportunities. But it does behoove you to sponsor a live show because you actually get more bang for your buck because we have some special packages on there. Okay, so um, this week we have Sunny and F- MF with us. Yes, yes. And I'm really excited to talk to you. Okay. Find out a little bit more about you. I was actually just binging rap shit. I was. Um, which she was on. Yes, sir. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to have her on the show because I was looking to find out more of your business. I really hope that maybe you had pissed the girl off or something and I could find some tea and bring it. But you <laughs> haven't. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna play NDAs, a little quick game. NDAs. Of, <laughs> I need to start doing that. Uh, we're gonna play a quick game of I'm curious to know. Okay. And that's a game that we created, and we are going to ask you these questions, and then you need to answer honestly. There's no way out of getting. Okay. Uh, oh, let's get it. Okay, Medina, you want to go first? <laughs> I'll go first. Okay, so the first one is, I'm curious to know, would you feel offended if your significant other never posted you on social media? Uh, no. No? No. No. I'd, I'd have been in plenty of situations where, you know, we haven't posted each other and stuff. So, yeah, I, I totally get it. I mean, it's like subtle little things when people kind of maybe pick up. Uh-huh. But, yeah. No, You're okay do you prefer that. it cool. that way? Um, Yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's why it ain't no tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, um, are you okay <laughs> with just spending... just you. <laughs> are you okay with spending money on your significant other for no obvious reason? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm big on just because gifts. Because, shit, you know, I don't need a holiday to tell me how to, you know, celebrate who I'm loving on fucking on. You feel what I'm saying? I give gifts just because, you know what I mean? Any any big, any little thing, big thing, you, you know, celebrate it or congratulations, I'm always going to give something. Does it matter how serious you are with the person? Like, let's say you just met somebody. And All right, like, cool. I was just in that situation. You know that weird phase when you start talking to somebody and someone's birthday is coming up, but yes, y'all haven't just been together that, that long? Exactly. And you're like, what, exactly. do I do something? Do I not I, do something? Because if you don't do yeah. something, it matters. If you do something too much, it, it, it matters. matters. Yeah, so, I mean, I was just talking to this girl, and, you know, we still cool. And um, we, like, was talking, like, a couple days before her birthday, like a week and a half, and I told her I wasn't going to do anything for her birthday just because we, we knew. I don't, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I, however, I did bring her some flowers. But it's just like, I'm not nice. finna do the extent of what I would have done if we was like really locked in. We probably would have went on a trip or something. That yeah. is very sweet. Yeah. Cause at first I really wasn't gonna do nothing, but I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna draw some flowers. But you didn't tell her, hey, look, I'm not doing anything for your birthday just because you just you just got the flowers. No, nah, I told her I wasn't gonna do nothing. <laughs> You you could have left that. Because I think she was looking like you know, because she probably wanted to make plans. Because if I ain't gonna be the nigga to do something, maybe it's another nigga that possibly would. Oh, so you didn't want her to block out. So I'm like, I'm gonna let you know. Hey, we know we just met, and I feel like it's too serious. And it was close to. It was like birthday. It was February birthday, Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. Whoa, we just like our first date was on what two two two. That's that should have been a sign for me to do something, but I took that sign to decline. It was like, look, we just met each other. (laughs) <laughs> and I don't know what, I told her I just didn't know what God brought her in my life for. So I wasn't sure if it was a romantic thing or supposed to be a spiritual connection. You know, I just don't know. I wanted to make sure I put it where it needed to be before I be, because I go all in. I'm a girl, I'm a lesbian. You know, we move in third day. Oh, y'all, yeah, are, y'all be ready. I want her, I'm like, just move in, baby. 
<laughs> Yo, the LA, oh, the LA rent ain't getting no cheaper, baby. Just move in. Oh, love <laughs> you. I'm glad you were clear on that. That's probably why I always have issues with things. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do something. And I never for your usually, birthday. yeah, I usually never be that clear. But like I said, like that was so many days close by. I'm just like, look, yeah, I think it's just too soon to go all in. I, but gotta do I brought something. the flowers. All, all her friends were there, so it did make me look up. I didn't do it too. Look, I was like, you At know least what? You did something. Yeah, you know, I would have felt bad. Birthday. Exactly. It's still be a birthday. Like, oh, it's your birthday. Yeah. Nigga, the fuck? You didn't hear me tell you 10 times? The okay, 10 times? You didn't you see talking? all the posts Come I on, made. Man. Hey, I'm doing this the for long my birthday. Story. Right. What? Hello? Okay, next one. I'm curious to know have you ever blown up someone's phone called at least 10 times in a row? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Kiki, for sure. have you? You know I have. Come on, now. Come on, down, where you okay? at? <laughs> I need to know. I don't care. If that I'm was not a getting sad through, time. ain't nobody getting through. Y'all know, right? right? Y'all are crazy. I was, I, that was, we was so living what? together. She wasn't coming home. Oh, but oh. Either, uh-uh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because what you do when we got out of town, and I got to witness it. <laughs> Me? You when? She in New York? York? To, not in New York. <laughs> wait, wait. In State <laughs> Who did that call? Bitch, I'm gonna have to bleep it out. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You want to bleep it out. Hey. But she was blowing this person's phone was up. Was I drunk? Yeah. And I was like, don't do it. And I'm you were like, I'm doing he's it. still talking to me. That's what you said the next day when yeah. you talked to her. You know, when I show my <laughs> crazy, it's really <laughs> wild. It's and like, Medina be trying to act like it didn't happen. I'm so glad I saw it. That was a drunken night. Yeah. And I was glad that I was less we drunk. drunk. It was usually after it's our me. live show. I think. No, it wasn't. Oh. It was the day we got to New York. Oh. But we have recorded all day long. <laughs> we have recorded all day long. So that makes sense. I was drunk. He got Ooh. one of them names, though. It'd be like, Ooh. I mean. He got I a know, name on him, boy. <laughs> That's a na- and the whole name is really a name. I was like, what? And he doesn't like, I know he like got that. a middle name in his song. He, it, can, yeah. Will you be able to bleep it out? It is. Ooh. But he doesn't behave like What's that. What's his last name? Williams Jenkins Jones. Ooh. It's white. Okay. He sound like a, a, a one of them niggas that star on the Parkers. You know he... <laughs> he does. <laughs> you wouldn't even think that. I was like, why? Where did the love come from? His mama. His mama had him in the 90s and she was watching all that. Like, girl, I got the name. <laughs> That's just a horrible name. Uh, okay. <laughs> I is. have a question. How do you feel about lingerie? Love it. Okay. Love she it. She all love smiling. Love yeah. oh. Make me feel special. You know, at least wrap the gift up that I didn't get a million times. Wrap it up, baby. <laughs> um, okay, last one. Well, I guess this wouldn't be fitting. Well, this could. Okay, you tell me if you can answer this. How do you feel about traditional gender roles in a relationship? I know it's so. Uh, do lesbians lesbian, have? You that? know what I mean. Being that I present myself as a masculine woman, you know what I mean. It, that I do. They do like take out the trash. I'm like, well, bitch, who was taking out the trash before I came? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean. I need you to know. Like, give me flowers. Well, have you gotten me flowers lately? Okay, see, you know so what I mean? you like to. Still... It's just like, look, don't put me in that box. I'm still a bitch. I bleed too, and I cry. Mm-hmm. You know, too. So look, yeah, don't put me but in there. But is it? Are you taking the trash out? Oh yeah, I take the trash out. Okay, sure. because the <laughs> nigga trash. You know I mean? I'm, I'm tall. I'm six feet. So at the end of the day, I understand. Like, yeah, if somebody, you know, you are gonna feel safe for sure. But it times I will challenge. I'm a Gemini. I will challenge your ass. Like, hold up now. See, that's why it didn't work out with me and old girl. Because I didn't know how to do all this. I was like, <laughs> no, because you know, I'm not taking the trash out. We're not even ta- like it's not a debate. I'm not doing it. So you buy. No. Well, you're fluid. Yeah. I'm fluid. Oh, Thank you. You're fucker. the first person that came on God, here and truly God. understands what I am. <laughs> All <laughs> my fluid people DM oh, me. You know, <laughs> you know what? I, I used I to like say everybody's I, a little bit That's gay. what I said. Everybody <laughs> fluid for real. Everybody just going with the flow, goddamn. You hear me? Especially nah. women. Well, yeah, especially but some women. women can't call themselves fluid if you are interacting with another woman and you trying not to eat pussy. I don't know what you doing, but yeah. you, In the way? You need to get on back yeah. to <laughs> Don't come over here man. Don't pussy. tell that me you fluid and way. you talking about, well, I don't eat pussy. But you scared of a little fluid. Yeah, no, you scared of a little don't fluid. Don't be a little scared of fluid now what if you, you fluid. Of fluid? No, no. That fluid tastes good. You hear me? Um, <laughs> that was a nice little game of I'm curious to know. You guys mm-hmm. can get I'm curious to know at I'm curious to know.com, but you can't get it now because we need to restock because it's sold out because we're famous. <laughs> take a drink every time Medina says we're famous. <laughs> look, I'm going to take a sip. <laughs> and it is. Okay. 
So um, we're going to, did I do weird sex? I didn't. Mm -mm. Okay, so let me do weird sex really quick and then we're gonna talk to you a little bit more. Let me pull up the story. You said a man is not a necessity, a man is a luxury, like dessert. <laughs> yeah. A man is absolutely not a necessity. Did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, not at all. I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. Weird sex. Yeah, so I do these stories every week, and sometimes it's a crime. Sometimes it's like a little fetish. It could be all sorts of things. This bitch is nasty as fuck. Um, mm. <laughs> so, I like it, nasty. Um, this is some nasty ass shit. This woman down in, you guessed it, Florida, was arrested the other day for having sex with her goddamn dog. Oh, my God. Oh. Allegedly. She ain't been convicted yet. What's even weirder about this is that her boyfriend filmed the shit and stored it on a hard drive. Y'all going to jail. Um, according to the reports, Christina Colello. Cal nasty ass was having sexual relations with her dog over the course of nearly eight years that dog is tired what kind of dog was it <laughs> oh, what kind of dog? you know what i'm not sure but i wish they would let me know because it does make a difference it does because it, 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 it was a doberman and then it's like what kind of sex were you sodomizing the dog or were you Sucking trying to make him yeah what were back? you doing yeah. These are it's a I new like meaning to doggy style um jeffrey springer 39 who was dating her was arrested after he recorded and placed it on the flash drive i don't know who found it he was probably cheating on your ass the second bitch found it and exposed you know all of it into mm -hmm. the dog has since been removed from the household and was taken to a local pet hospital for routine <laughs> examination <laughs> um, but dog. police say it suffered no visible injuries he wasn't new to this he was used to this yeah, sadly. poor like, baby right, this is where i this is where I'm gonna be i wonder if that what dog if it was is like a pit adoption? bull I feel like it's a big dog. It has to be a big muscular dog. Some dogs do be fine. Y'all know, do you Wait know what? Wait a minute. It's like? Wait a minute. You know what I mean? It's like no, no it's like no. Okay, look, everybody Maybe was just yourself. We not about to skate. Y'all, you this. know how Mufasa was fine. Mufasa was fine. Mufasa was a cartoon. But he cartoons are fine. Some cartoons, Moon was cartoons fine. yes, but cartoons yeah. like they but what make I'm them look like is sometimes. Like I have seen Dobermans, and I'm like, wow, that is a handsome dog. Same for with dog. No, I, they be so muscular yeah. and fine. But is it like? I don't want to fuck the dog, okay. but I'm like, it had to be, to be one clear. of the muscular dogs and it'd be yeah. fine. Cause Unless she wanted to top the dog. She probably... And she would... She might, she, mm, you know what? Probably. That's just... Some peanut butter. And I would be scared yeah. of that. Have you seen how ferocious some of these dogs attack water? <laughs> and you gonna have all that by your pussy? Oh, oh, girl. Oh, my God. That this, is Weird Sex. If you guys have more stories, send it to me, weirdsex at cocktailspod.com. All right. So we're going to dive into these topics with, mm -hmm. you know, but before we do dive in to these topics with, uh, you just want to get your toe wet? Our girl, mm -hmm. um, Sunny MF. For people who might not know who you are, will you let them know, like, where you've been, who you've been around, what shows you've been on? <laughs> Yo, what's good, y'all? Sunny MF. I am a rapper, songwriter, actress now. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> you know, in LA, I say influencer because everybody influencer in LA right. for real. <laughs> Content and, creator. Um, I've been on rap shit, you know what I mean? So working with Issa Rae and her team. Shout out to the squad. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody at radio. Um, and, you know, you know, me and Lena Waif, we've been in the DMs talking. So, you know, you may see me on the show. You may see some shit coming up. So, yeah, okay. you know, I'll be all over. That's I exciting. I wrote for, like, Kiki Palmer, Flo Millie, you know what I mean? Sukiyana. Um, uh, oh, you with famous people. You, you know famous. Mean? I be trying to do my thing. You know what I mean? I realized that when niggas start asking me money for money on Facebook. I'm like, nigga. Mm -hmm. That's when it that's, that's when, when it know. hit. And I'm like, or I think people are trying to give you their mixtape. I'm like, why y'all asking me? Me. I can't even help I you. I still for be real. thinking I'm a little sunny from goddamn, you know, <laughs> North Atlanta. Like, what is this? Like, huh? What are we doing? I can't no, help you guys. Um <laughs> at okay. all. So try to get my foot in the door, nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I'm really guzzling my Dumas right now. I'm going in too. I, I Kiki, she has a no, cool glass. She, put, she said, this is a drink, then. <laughs> well, I was doing <laughs> a lot of down. talking, and sometimes <laughs> when I get drunk, I might start. Start slurring real bad. Mm. So I've been working on being a better me. I love that's that for up, you. Man. And I had a shot before I got here. Nah, Shout out to you. That's what's up. Um, 
Okay, so I am so excited because you guys, this whole entire episode, well, most of it, we are going to talk about <laughs> lesbian shit. Yes, sir. And lesbian shit, rap shit, lesbian shit. Let's I, go. My favorite porn category is um, lesbians. I always mm. I go to the porn wherever I'm going because I yes. don't care which site it is. Mm -hmm. I don't prefer Pornhub. Um, but any other one. I like X videos. Well, ooh, I'm gonna have to try that one tonight. Yes. I ooh, type in tier. nastiest lesbian sex, and mm -hmm. then whatever comes up, I go yeah. through and then watch the lesbian porn. So don't look at me while you say it. My like bad. That. I'm oh, sorry. Um, Y'all see it? <laughs> look, don't you start now. You can. I'm a towel for a couple of days. No. I really am. It's so much fun. I'm just glad that we have evidence to see how this should be happening, and yes. it's crystal clear. On all of the cameras from the angles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm getting shy. Um, so oh, we're going to talk about lesbian shit. We're going to talk about dating lesbians, what you guys do in your world, yes. how it works. We're going to talk about some sexiness. But the first thing that I want to know is, well, I already know, but I want you to answer it. Do lesbians be tricking how niggas be tricking? I trick off. I got to stop. Mm -hmm. My mama be like, you got to chill. I'll be like, mama. So what should we be buying? I mean, we just I, I, little things just because like, I'm, I'm edible arrangements. I spend a lot of money there. I just send random shit like, oh, oh I'm thinking about you. Mm -hmm. uh, flowers, you know, trips. Uh, what about purses and shoes? I, they do it. Yeah, I've de like one time. Well, I meant her specifically. Oh. Yeah, one time like I had like sent like a box. I had sent like three boxes to this girl. I was dating and shit and just like starting from gifts from the foot and moving up. You know what mm. I mean? And it ended with a ring. And, um, oh, like what's our ring? You're yeah, like a little promise ring. Like I promise to always fuck with you. Love you. Where's she at? We cool. It's my ex. It's, you know what I mean? We cool. So y'all just be doing shit just to be doing it. Yeah, and I had got her name tatted on me and everything. Ma'am. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I wanted them. I'm a lover girl. I, you know what I mean? I'm Most a women girl are. We, these emotions we can't I love contain. the point. You know what I mean? Gotta, but it's interesting because when we, when we do these types of things with men, we get our feelings hurt. Yeah. But yeah. when you do it with women, it's like, uh, oh, we're just both You might get your feelings forth. hurt, too. Yeah, you can get your feelings hurt, too. But... I just love women. I love porn too. Making them feel special. They deserve it. You know what I mean? We do. And that I do. mean, oh my God. But with that being said, I feel like the difference between when a lesbian woman is tricking off on you, I feel like you guys expect things in return. And when a nigga is mm. tricking, it's not you don't yeah. feel like the pressure to do the same thing. I think it should be pressure all around though. You should do nice things for niggas too. Uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't. For that is niggas? <laughs> like anybody that's inside you you should give them some not anyway. saying that you shouldn't but you don't feel the need to turn around sometimes I feel like the women yeah. that I've dealt with that yeah. do things they're like okay your turn men don't do that men are like I'm doing this they and don't if say you it do but they it, want it too though but they don't want the same thing you could buy a nigga a drink and he's happy yeah niggas are simple buy a nigga a system a game system that nigga love he's you happy like, he gonna talk about you to the next three four five bitches he's mm -hmm. like my dad bitch gave me that and then I'm going to be pissed because why are you yeah, playing man. games with this new bitch? I yeah. want my shit back. I want to repo it. See, that was wrong with girls. Yeah, like, it is. You can't be doing that. Just let this I nigga shouldn't. have this shit. I don't buy them things like that. <laughs> nah, them game system is getting expensive now. Yeah, and shit. You got to get on a list to get them and shit. I so. want to know um, how you feel about dating straight women. And my you them. really put those... Because you know how some girls will yeah. say that they're straight, but they really be in a whole lesbian relationship. And it's like a thing. And so I'm just curious, because some women will not fuck with a girl if she says she's straight. And then some women True. are like, I'm going to turn you out. True. I've turned out majority of every woman I've been with. You've so it's a challenge. You turn them out? Or they I mean, I say everybody <laughs> I fuck with is a sunny sexual zoom in. Everyone, every woman I fuck, <laughs> every woman I fuck with is a sunny sexual. Like, I've dated women that I was their first woman they dated, and I remember mm -hmm. this girl I dated one time, and um, she was I forget why, like she called my dad on me, like what my dad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, she was like, like I'm gonna get your daughter, and, <laughs> and it's, I ain't even a lesbian, and he was like, girl, girl you been fucking on my daughter for about a year and a half, <laughs> and, but okay, and he's just like, look, don't get none of your girls my number. Why do they? <laughs> Hey, I was like, I, I don't know. I can't believe she did that. That's wild. Yeah, seriously. She was a Gemini. I'm a Gemini too, but I would never date another Gemini because of her. Do I... you think the straight girls are a little bit clingier or crazier in your experience or no? I don't think they really had it head that good. So Probably it could not. be. You feel what I'm saying? That's that why I really don't even put that out there like that. Like, I don't even, I don't, I don't, everybody, everybody in this little way, of course, I did not eat that pussy. You feel what I'm saying? Just because mm. sometimes you just want to pop, pop. Beat it down. You know what I'm saying? Get up out of there. Because it's mm -hmm. like, especially like straight woman or bi woman, they be like, girl, if you fucking on a nigga, you. Well, you know, me, 
you gonna eat this pussy because that's, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's a part of the package. It's a part of the package. Like, we're not about so, to sit okay, here and play. When you just get in there it to bop, 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 what are you actually getting out of it? Like, what does it feel like to you? I am a pleaser, so it's really. I mean, I love it in general. I, I feel like my dick be. Att- I feel like that motherfucker attached to me, and I just feel it. I mean, mm. do you have like more than one? <laughs> yeah, for sure. For mm. different occasions, different I literally sizes, just threw one out. Different colors. Yeah, I, my sizes. motto is new chick, new dick. I like mm. that motto because yeah. it is yeah. very odd when someone's putting a condom on a strap on and you're sitting there like. No. I did that one. One girl made me do it one time though. I mean, I get it for safety reasons, but like, yeah. I fuck niggas with real dicks, and they and and it's just I was like, you're putting this on here like I'm gonna contract something. You could wash it off with some dial, and yeah. we good. True, <laughs> take True. that condom off, girl. We have yeah. an unprotected strap set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play with me. I'm offended. You think I'm that nasty? We no, gotta put on the condom on the on the strap. Um, but you were talking about being a pleaser, and I think that's one reason why I enjoy women because. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get a different experience. Man, it's yeah. not like every now and again you meet a man that is truly a pleaser and it's it's a great experience. Yeah. Very rare. Very, it's very rare. You yeah. have to like, you got to do a lot of the pleasing. And not saying you don't like the sex, but you got to teach. It's just yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's a With lot. a woman, yeah. from the second you start kissing, it is just a very sensual, Ooh, soft I, experience. Like, definitely. and it's, and they take, like, I like the best head that I've ever received was from a woman who was truly a lesbian. Like mm-hmm. I was playing and she was really about this. And <laughs> she literally enjoyed eating yeah, my the, pussy for no, like hours. I, oh my God. And to I the would point eat where that I shit was for like, hours. And then there, yes. there would be times when she didn't even want anything. Nothing. In sometimes, no. Nothing. Sometimes I'd be like, nah, I'm good. I just want to just devour that thing. I bought a massage table because I give good massages. You feel what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it was just like, I want to do better. So I was like, you know, giving it on the bed was cool, but I can't really like get, you know what I mean? Really get use both hands. So I was like, you know, I'm going to buy a massage table just for this How reason. do you introduce serious that to the about women? your craft? They come over, about. you're like, you want Very a massage? Serious. Um, No, nah, because I was already giving Shawty massages like on the bed because I just asked her like, you want a massage? Because she was like, oh my neck. And I was like, you know, I'll, I'll give you a massage. And then I gave Everybody knows the massage is leading to fucking. Yeah, no, but mm-hmm. no, honestly, I think before we even really fuck, because like I said, like I take, I really do take my time because I really just don't want to fuck a goofy. That'd be my thing. <laughs> a goofy? Just like a goofy ass person. You you know, cause you'll meet their representative at <laughs> mm-hmm. first. And then mm-hmm. next thing you know, you didn't gain some, you know, you didn't fought them and now they can be like, yeah, yeah, I fought Sonny. I'm like, damn, this goofy. How much time dick. do you take to realize? I, like, me and the guy I'm fucking with now, like, we, we really took like a month. Mm-hmm. Really like get into it. Wow, that's like, long. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I really like. I had to fill out because I, I, like I said, I don't know like where I should place her in my life yet. Like, mm-hmm. okay, just because I met you, you met me, and we both fine. I don't mean we supposed to fuck. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe we supposed to be best friends. Maybe we supposed to be right. Yeah, that's what you be know. doing wrong. Yeah, with that's it. what. Yes, yeah, that's what y'all be doing wrong. Like, we just really like, good. You know what I mean? What like, we grow. And I like having homegirls too. You feel what I'm saying? It's like as soon as you fuck a homegirl, it be. You if you want to be, be with me. No, I'm saying, no, I done it where I was like, we I, we was friends for a minute, then I fucked, then next day, you know, it's like, what are we doing? Women love mm. asking that question. So what are we? What are we? I'm like, girl, people, humans. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just atoms at the end of the day. <laughs> they start breaking it down, go scientific on that bitch. Um, <laughs> We're molecules. Uh, <laughs> um, what is your type of woman? I really don't have a type. Every woman... Really looks very different. I done dated all different type of women. I love like brown skin women. Um, that's for sure. Um, but it's I really don't have a type. I mean, just it's really the vibe. You feel what I'm saying? I done date short women, not really tall. I don't really like anyone too tall because I'm tall. You know like what I'm okay, like five five. Yeah, five brown no eyes. more. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Curly hair, wears it up in the top. You, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, in the top. Yeah, not, you yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Little tattoo right here. Yeah, I got a little tattoo yeah. right here too. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. white top. But you know, we just. <laughs> I'm not about to play with y'all today. I'm not about to play with y'all today. <laughs> you, you said it. You. Because I can't wait to see that face. Like, look, I'm like, hey. Um, mm-hmm. but nah, you know, I really don't have a type. It's really the vibe, you know what I mean? Because you can meet the most beautiful person in the world, and but I don't mean you could be my type. And yeah, you're like, my, yo. Have y'all ever spent time with an attractive person and you're yo. like, dang, and then you're sitting there talking and you're like, I cannot do I this. Like you have no, sometimes I feel like it can be um, crippling to be 
too, too attractive. Fun. Yes, yes. Because yes. you, and I hope no one is offended by this, and you probably won't, because if you look good, you look good, and life has been easy. You probably for you. don't even realize you're. Dead. You don't even realize it because every no one even cares. They just want you around. You're beautiful, or you're handsome, <laughs> or you're super tall. And there are some people that have these attributes, and it's just like you never really had to have a personality yes. because people don't care. They just want to be around yeah. you. I, that's not my type. I need I, you to talk. You feel or crack me? A joke. Like, come on. You know what I mean? So yeah. It's interesting. Um, what's your favorite body part on a woman? I want Kiki and Sunny to answer. Sunny, you go first. I love a woman's smile. Mm. I mean, teeth, smile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just like that. <laughs> Cheekbones. Look, I got to highlight it. You know, just... <laughs> and I really... Yeah, I just love women in general, but the smile is what really pull, like pulls me the fuck in. Like, it is I something love, about I love to see a woman happy. Because could you imagine if I did all that smiling? You're like, I like a smile. And I smiled and laughed and I was missing like, this too. Uh, like, you know, like, like, what did she come from? Black Ink Crew? <laughs> like, every bitch on Black Ink Crew missing the tooth. Why? And I was just what? like, damn, that bitch was cute, but she had a little... Uh, I, I asked I, I, Twitter, I, was, I said, what is it? Like, I feel like a lot of men are missing this tooth. Yes. And someone said they call that the alcoholic tooth. Yeah, because that's mm. a, addiction. That's the first thing that goes, your teeth. Those your teeth. Huh, interesting. Yeah. And Ooh. addiction is so normalized within our community. We have yeah. a small break for, you know, it's so normalized within our community, you know. But, yeah, people it's drink like, it every day. if you need it. No, for real. Drink it every day. No, no. I, even though it's fun. <laughs> Kiki said, well, I still got my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> for, for the time being. Look, <laughs> I'm just Kiki, what is your favorite body part on a woman? Um, What is my favorite body part? Probably titties because I ain't got none. Mm. Girl, so about? I like to play with them when I'm with a woman mm -hmm. who has them. Right. I don't really like when they don't have them. It's like, well, I can play with my damn self, bitch. Where are your titties at? <laughs> Where are them titties at? <laughs> what about you? My Okay, when it comes to sex, my favorite body part is the inner thigh. But when it comes to just like looking at a woman, I like I, I want your face and your skin to just be nice. Yes, right. Like, yes, yeah, yes. The face is Written important. all over the a face. Nice, healthy yes, definitely. skin. And yes, I'm like, ooh, yes, what you yes. doing? What's your skin regimen, nah, baby? for real. But yeah, I, when we fucking, definitely uh, ass and hips. Mm-hmm. People yes. really love ass. I love ass. Mm. And titties, too. I love titties, too. I, like I said, I just love the whole woman's body. Like, titties. They're just so soft. Women are beautiful <sighs> and soft and pretty and just smell oh good. Oh, my fucking God. Mm -hmm. uh, when you like, like nice oh, to cuddle with. Oh, my God. Sunny, are you into foreplay? Love it. It's my, I can do that and just go to sleep. Like, I just, like, yeah. I'm Rolling into, around. Uh, kissing. Like I, like I said, I like to start off with a massage so I can find out what's the point. So I know massage a girl. So I did not know that was my spot. I'm like, I ain't know either, but we finna dive into it. We found it. out. My See, that's the, what we be saying. Explore, explore each other's bodies. before you, you know what I mean? Look at the map. Let's, so let's look at the map. Slow down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't just dive in or yeah. do what you did last time. Yes, yes, because every pussy is different. I had, to, I mean, I realized that when I seen like multiple pussy, I'm like, damn, her pussy was a little like, like that. Da -da 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 -boom. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. It's different. You mm -hmm. know what I mean. So it's important. And to some slow people down. need a little extra TLC. Yes, some yes. people don't. Yes. Like, some, and I mean, I just I need don't. people to know you need to get it nice and wet. Like, that's my thing. Yeah, like slow down. Slow Again. down. Slow if it's not down. wet, we're not ready. Come on, right. get I'm it not ready. turned on. Like maybe I want to have sex, but my body's not ready. Yeah. 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 And I like to take my time and figure that that part out. Now, are you the type of lesbian that likes, because a lot of the masculine lesbians that I have been with, they don't like to receive. Do it, you? Can, can I'm like in the middle. Can <laughs> she give you the strap? Or that's unacceptable? All right. <laughs> is that off limit? What if that she's like, all right, baby, you're Unacceptable. Your <laughs> first, <laughs> first of all, I be dating like little chicks. So it's like, why are you trying to put that dick on? Oh. Hey, you try it. It. No, I, I had like I remember one time I was young and then she was like, please, she begged for so long. And then I was just like, okay. And then she put it on, she's like, nah. Oh, you didn't <laughs> let her do it. I was like, you know, she got like she was getting ready to get on top of me, and then just was like, no, nah, this ain't it. <laughs> this is not it. I'm sorry, it was Valentine's Day. You know, bitches love to do something special on Valentine's Day. I'm mm -hmm. gonna let you get your try on Valentine's. Mm -hmm. nah, do lesbians baby. do anal? I made it. I put a thumb in the butt. I made it. I mean, putting I, the strap on in the booty hole. I did it with one girl. She did you like free. it? Or... I didn't really give a fuck for it. But whatever she wants, shit. I can't feel the, the dick and go inside the pussy or the ass, honestly. So, baby, what you want? <laughs> what you like? Let me know. It's not really a It's about you. You, feeling attached. you know what I mean? I just, I'm going to get attached, but it ain't attached. You feel me? So, yeah, it's up to you. I eat the booty and I, I've been doing that for a long time. We're all know. grown. Everybody better be eating booty. I hate people be like, booty, you need to I've eat been some doing booty. Since I was 16. I was, I'm, I'm, you mean booty since you were 16? First time I ate the pussy, I really just slid down in there. 
Shout out was so thick. It looked so good. I was like, why not? <laughs> you are experienced. Yeah, I don't think I started eating time. booty till I was 29. I was in my 20s. Yeah. 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 And probably, really, like, you 17. were my inspiration. Mm, thank you. 16, 17. You're welcome. I'm glad that I was. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to encourage everybody. Don't be afraid of that booty. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. It don't really taste like nothing. And if like it smells, nothing. you don't need to fuck it. As long as it's clean. Yeah, yeah, if it clean, it don't... If it's I mean, not clean, leave them alone. Yeah, why even present the booty if it ain't clean, girl? Mm-hmm. Get out of my house. That's trifling. <laughs> Get, Get out of here. Get my house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what sex tips would you give our lesbian listeners? Mm, sex tip. Oh, fuck. A sex tip that I I'm not a lesbian listener, but maybe it's the listeners who are interested in trying sex with women. Mm. Mm. A tip that I gave was, and I just recently found this oh, out, yeah. was like take your knuckles and like rub them ever so gently up and down her pussy. Yeah, when it just gets really, really wet, dive into that shit and just you got to find out because everything don't get certain. Like what to get you wet probably won't get you wet. You know what I'm saying? Me mm-hmm. personally. As soon as we talking about it, I can like I'm wet right now. No, I'm, just <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad these couches are leather. Rum will make you come. Shout out to Dumas Rum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just talking shit. But like, if we mm-hmm. in that mode, even when we kissing, like that shit start throbbing extra hard. And this thing, I know, <laughs> I'm like, all right, bet it's time to go. I love and that feeling. I, you know, I love oh, that feeling. You ever got so wet that the nigga is like. Whoa! Like they have to comment on how wet you got. That's how wet my pussy be getting. I'd be like, I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't apologize. I be what? apologizing. You're welcome. Because it's apologize. a lot going don't on. Don't apologize for that. Ever. It's just be a lot. Like I, I, it's just I a lot that. going on. It's like, and yeah. I even have to check them. Do I start my period? No, it's just <laughs> yeah. a little, little fluid. Not fair, you seriously. So I, I get you with that. But let me see. My biggest tip is just. Well, women know where the clit at, so that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. These niggas be lost. lost. That's crazy it's to right me. It's right there. Like, when they that don't. y'all been fucking y'all's whole... Most niggas have lost their virginity around ages 14 to... So they say. <laughs> so they say. But it's like, how y'all been fucking for so long and you don't know how to locate the clit? Okay, all they do is search for a little hole. What like, whack them all. Like, for real. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is embarrassing. Jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. Like, what? You should be ashamed of yourself at your grown age. Come on. Seriously. Coming in here, stabbing my pussy with And it's this. not that big down there. It's not. And it's like, if you hit something that's not a hole, that shit hurts. Right. Yeah. And just yeah. if you spread it open, you can Take find a look. it. Yeah. Look at it. Are you not looking at these pussies before you dive in? <laughs> they not. Sometimes, <laughs> and that's disturbing. No, for real. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I, I felt like I fucked fast one time. And I was like, I really got to want to slow down. Because I like to... I like to, for the shit to last for a long time. Cause when it's over, I be like, damn, it's over. Like, well, we damn, can do it again. We can. Watch can. It. No, for real. For, for real. real. What you trying to kick the bitch out? Not, I've done that before, but in a classy <laughs> way. That's me. Yeah, I know. I feel How so do you bad. Kick somebody afterwards. out in a classy well, yeah, way. What's a classy way? So what you about to do, Sean? That, that is, is not, not classy. classy. <laughs> That's what niggas be doing. You know, for real. Hey, we're, about to, we're about to go to the gym and shit. And my boys was like, hey, we're going to go to the gym. I'm like, babe, I'm going to go with you. She probably was like, oh, okay, we're going to kick it. But nah. That's so mean. I was like, I like how much that Uber gonna be? It was like, it's classy because I'm paying for the Uber. Okay. So let me know how, where you going again? Let me know how much the Uber. That's nice. I have a question. Did you play basketball in high school? For like a week. Only a week? I'm not that good. It, it, I, it was. Um, <laughs> People always assume lesbians. Yeah. Are no, for real. It was either music. I'm not Chris Brown. It was either music or uh, sports. I'm not one of them way around it niggas. I, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, the, it, it was funny too because I had just started at this school, North Atlanta, shout out to North Atlanta. And I was sitting at this table. You know, you knew you just like, where the fuck do I sit? Mm-hmm. So I ended up sitting at the table where all the dyke bitches sit. That's what I knew. Oh. I said, I attracted this table. I'm a dyke. <laughs> but were you already like an active lesbian or you were just you didn't know you it just... was high school I was in the closet like my mom was still around like you know what I mean mm-hmm. like nah so I was people knew but you know until you know you come out like reveal yourself so yeah Mm, that's fine. That's fun, yeah but, but were you the type to reveal yourself and everybody was like bitch we knew like when Queen Latifah came out everybody was like Man, yeah, you didn't even yeah. have to tell. Did she ever come out? She did. She did. Yeah. Like last year or something? It was a couple years ago, yeah. but everyone was just like, you didn't even have to do all this. We knew. Yeah, so one we did it, and it's like, yeah. girl, we knew. It's like any woman that ain't showing their nigga, because bitches love to show the nigga that's spending the money. Like, you just automatically assume. That's how I know Oprah and Gail getting to a hey, y'all. Or the women it. who be wearing those outfits that look like baggy principal suits. Yeah, it's like, we know. Because that's what, what I think about with But then, the y'all sides, really yeah. did Queen Latifah wrong, because everybody assumed because of the Cleo. 
That's I not don't lying. think it was clear. I like, wasn't she was she just, she just gave that energy that, that masculine I, big energy. Big energy. You cannot. She has big. Dick you can't energy. ignore that big dick energy. Shout out to Queen Latifah. I don't know big, if it's big, big dick energy, but it is dick energy. Yeah, like somebody's getting dick down. But I know yeah. you throwing the dick. You know, I I throw the dick like I grew it. That my that my shit. Yeah. Wow. And the way she used to be curving them fine ass niggas on living single. Mm. Girl, ain't no way. <laughs> and they just your homeboys <laughs> and your brothers. Huh. Huh. Yeah, it was that one nigga You're that would make a that tall nigga that worked at the label, he was making leeway. <laughs> with the big head. He would come with the big pants, the big Steve mm-hmm. Harvey dress pants and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm so glad that's played I love out that now. show. They, it's tonight. coming back. Fashion always. No, the Steve Harvey suits will never make a comeback. That is horrible. I like I'm the tight you on I like the tight, fitted suits. I like bitches. Mm-hmm. No, the mm-hmm. place. So, I mean, <laughs> y'all lesbians. <laughs> I like it tight. <laughs> um. Okay, so... Switching gears a little bit, I wanted to talk about IG etiquette, Instagram etiquette. Do you guys think it's weird to ask someone that you're dating or your significant other to stop following someone on Instagram? Yes, that's weird. That's Why? weird. That is weird. You asked me that. That's, that's too weird. Much. And I've stop been following asked that. who? I've been asked that. Because some people are not unfollowing. Yeah, I had, to, I had to tell a girl to remove a picture of me and her. <laughs> because the significant other was upset. She was like, why this girl got this picture of you talking about 10 years strong? Well, why did she? Well, yeah. I don't know why she did that either. Because I was like, know why nah. she did that. Because it was fucking like 10 years strong. But so, like on and off. But I had girlfriends within these 10 years, but she was never a girlfriend. It was just like she was a friend. Yeah. That you was fucking. That's, That's why I feel like it would be friend. hard to trust a lesbian because, like, you're gonna you're gonna have girls that are just friends, but it's like, yeah. how do I know y'all never just tested it out? I would out? assume yeah. that you did. I, me too. I would assume that you did, but then they're like, oh, just because I'm lesbian, I'm not, not just fucking all me. my friends, and yeah. you are. It's only two of you not fucking. Yeah, it's, it's literally it's like two or three you ain't fucking. For that's real. crazy. Because there are a few girls who are really very straight, and I really think they're just shy about eating pussy, and that's why they haven't tried it yet. Yeah, I'm convinced. Yeah. What you where you fit in that spectrum? Right? Oh, I've done it before. Yeah, pussy. How you but like it? I, I like it. I prefer to get my pussy ate, but I don't mm-hmm. mind doing it. I'm not scared of it. But I have never just been with a woman. Well, except for that one time, but that was during quarantine. <laughs> and so nothing, <laughs> in 20, no. nothing in 2020 counts. But yeah, um, I prefer threesomes. <laughs> oh, word. Because I, I like to have um, some a little dick there, too. Okay. Look. And it's fun to put on a show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel that. What and I like you? to see them compete. I eat pussy. I am a... Um, I eat pussy very well. Like, you would think that I am a true lesbian. Yeah. Um, I eat pussy very well. One of my fantasies is to... <laughs> I'm not even looking at her. Yo. I'm not even looking at her. I wasn't looking at you. Oh, I had turned her head until you said Yo. fantasy. I want to hear this part. What's the One fantasy? Of, I have two fantasies that I haven't okay. fulfilled yet. One of them <laughs> is me dressing up like a prostitute, going to stand on the corner, and then my bae comes to pick me up. I tell them the prices. We go yeah. to the yeah, we're already fuck. on Boulevard. But then the, uh, <laughs> then we fuck in the car. Well, we got to be safe. Yeah. But the, the <laughs> other fantasy is to have a threesome with three women. I just feel like yes. that would be such a beautiful uh, experience. Like, yeah. just... Three women fucking mm-hmm. each other. On, There's right? so much that could happen. It would be what so. What you doing tomorrow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tomorrow's Wednesday. I think I might be free. Oh, okay, man. <laughs> I'm not about to play with you. <laughs> You're not about to get me beat up by whoever you fucking with. Hold up now. Oh, wait a Yo, minute. What are you doing? <laughs> Who, whoever her girl is, don't be mad at me. I, I'm, I'm single. You know what I'm saying? Single-ish mm-hmm. or single? Oh, it's an understanding. Somebody's crying somewhere. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck is this Medina right? <laughs> on Instagram? <laughs> no, she was like, hell, no. the fuck like, is what? this? <laughs> um, okay, so we do agree that it's weird to ask your significant other. How do you oh, feel about yes. it? I think that it, it's... Would I you wouldn't... ask somebody to do this? Did or somebody I, no, ask no, you? I've never asked anyone Did to do this. Did somebody ask you? No, but okay, people good. have questioned me about like, why is this person putting hard eyes under... Oh the, or like, Bitch, because I'm fine. Come on. Right. And, you know, and sometimes I'm like, ooh, you're really reading the comments. Or like, like re- who does like, that? that is in- Yo, that's crazy that's next to me. level crazy. Uh, today I posted a picture and I was like, um, I hope somebody's fine son is having a great day. And I wasn't talking about anyone specifically. And so there were multiple guys we're that were like... Positive thank positive Yeah, there. right. There were multiple guys that were like, thank you so much. Like I am, I know you're talking about me. And then somebody texted my phone and was like, "Was you really talking about at da, 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 and put like one of the niggas?" And I was just like, "This is picture corny. For oh wow, this yeah. is so for you to think. All right, you know what? 
That's crazy. And I do think it's weird to be... I get sometimes being insecure about social media situations, but yeah. I just personally, unless I really know some shit is going yeah. on... Just don't wear it on your sleeve. I yeah, don't like. wear it on your sleeve. And like, to bring it up, to me, it's corny. But yes. you know, if you just have to bring it up, then bring it up. But I'm not bringing yeah. up every bitch that Never. hard eyes under your pictures. I think not it's weird. So and I definitely honestly, wouldn't... Honestly, the comment section is not where you need to be looking. At all. Really Come on now. On. Like, honestly. they might be in the comments. They might yeah. not. Yeah. Hmm. But I won't tell you where they be at. They be in the bed with me reading yeah, the comments. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> I'll be laughing at the okay. same. <laughs> that nigga really thought you was talking about him. Oh, man. <laughs> that nigga be wilding, man. Swear to God. Hey, you need some coffee? That is crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. That the, is, I don't like arguing about Instagram stuff. I don't like that. Comments. Who's yeah. liking this? Why Come is this on. person DMing you? All yeah. of this. Why are you in my shit? Get wow. off of my shoulder. You're supposed yeah. to be in her shit, but not in her shit. Yes. yes. That's how you really, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Um, on that note, we're going to move on to Indecisive Diane. And when we come back, Sunny is going to help us give some of you some advice. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? What do you want? <laughs> Hey ladies, it's me, Diane, and the summer's coming to an ending. So I want you to find your favorite scammer and take him on a, or have him take you on the scammer date to Whiskey Mistress on a Sunday before the summer's done. It's so much fun. Have him spend a lot of money. It's not his anyways. <laughs> Go there, turn up. Remember, Whiskey Mistress on a Sunday. Bye. Okay. And we are back from Indecisive Diana. It is time for the advice. If you have a question that you want to ask us on the show, make sure you email us at advice at cocktailspod.com. Okay, Medina, you want to do the first one? Yes. Okay. So this young lady says, got good cat, mm. but how do I use it? So this is what she says. Hey, ladies, let's just get straight to it. I'm 23. We got some young listeners. Mm -hmm. Huh. I'm 23 and super inexperienced with sex. In my head, I am the biggest freak out. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> my reality just doesn't match. I only have a body count of six. That's only. Yeah. yeah. That's, you know, I'm not Slow judging down, you, but you, you said it like you was going to say one. You said six. You're on the second hand. Uh, and none of them have Don't ever like that, made me <laughs> orgasm from head or penetration. Mm. Damn. Oh, you need to get with a lesbian. <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. 404. <laughs> <laughs> and I am the fuck over it. I mm. recently just got myself a situationship that could work in my favor sexually if I allow it. The dick he provides is great, like real fucking great, to the point I felt like he can make me orgasm once he learns my body, yeah. uh, which he has made clear to me that he wants to do. His head is trash as fuck. <laughs> But I'm glad the size of his dick makes up for it. It's the biggest dick I have ever had, and I love it here. And it makes me want to up my sex game. But I don't know how. Due to past depression, I picked up some pounds, and it ruined my confidence. I'm not super super fat, but your girl's a little chunky. I'm super shy in the bedroom due to the weight and being scared of trying to do something new and failing and ruining the movement during sex. Oh, ruining the moment during sex. Uh, thought maybe the confidence would go up once I lost weight, but y'all know weight drop weight drops slow, and I don't want to wait 50 years to have sex. LOL. You better go. Uh, just get some surgery. The only thing that <laughs> gives me a little confidence is liquor, and I'm tired of liquor of liquid courage. I want to feel the courage sober so I can really feel like that bitch. Mm. He always talks about how good my pussy is and how wet and tight it is, so I know once I learn how to work her, she'll have him on his knees begging. Him and I always talk about me being shy in the bed and not knowing how to ride, which he is nice about it and says, I'll teach you. So I feel like he is open minded enough to be patient while I learn some uh, tricks like he is the perfect. Per oh, he's the perfect person to practice on to up my pussy game. But I don't know how to go about it. A bitch doesn't even know how to ride a dick shaking my head like that's so embarrassing. I make Scorpios look bad. Oh, <laughs> shit, she a Scorpio. And we're supposed to be some sex gods. Help a girl out because the pussy good. But I'm trying to make the bitch great. Laughing my ass off. LOL. Uh, XOX little sis. Uh, okay. Who wants to start? 
I'll start. Okay, little sis. I will say, <laughs> first of all, you're only 23. Do not beat yourself up about it. You don't. already Come said on. his head is trash. And you're over here beating yourself up because you don't know how to ride dick yet. Mm-hmm. That's okay. He said he was going to teach you. Stop being shy about it. And just tell him, okay, today is the day. I want to learn how to ride. And you need to not get drunk before you do it so that you can have the courage sober and so that you can remember what the fuck he's telling you to do. And then also remember everything that you do with him might not work with the next guy. So just just try it out. Try some things. Watch a little porn. I mean, it's not the best example, but there are some examples of positions. Um, calm down. Yeah. Calm, calm down. down. Calm that little hot pocket down. They have classes for that. They do. Um, I'm not going to shout them out because they're not paying us for that. But if you teach a class and you would like to sponsor an episode of Cocktails, I'd be happy to share the information, you know? <laughs> I, I Also, like, turn some music on. Music I ride help. the best when I have on some slow music. Like, it has to be slow R&B hits. So well, I, I thought you were going to say that other song. song. Um, Janae Aiko, uh, Pussy Fairy. <laughs> I just knew you was about to say genie in a bottle and I'm so glad well, you did it. I can ride really good dick to genie in a bottle but the favorite pussy is Fairy pussy is a fairy. Good one. Like it just it's cuz oh you can also yeah. say read the, the lyrics to pussy fairy mm-hmm. in the mirror and say it like positive affirmation. Say read it like, it like poetry. But also Lil sis, you got to like <laughs> this is first of all like you when you start when you start having grown sex cuz you don't start off having sex when it's grown sex. It'd be dumb childish sex and that mm-hmm. sounds like what you're doing. Yeah, you're still in that phase. Right. Because you're so consumed with like everything that he's doing. Like now that I have grown sex, I'm really focused on how I'm making somebody feel. That's really important to me because you're not going to leave this, whether we're going to be in a relationship or we just fucking for tonight. You're not going to leave saying I was whack. Okay. You know what I mean? That's not what's going to You're going to be thinking and wanting to hit me up. But you have to, to Mm -hmm. get to that point, you have to not care about what you're looking like. You can't care about what he thinks you look like, especially if you're fucking with a nigga. He doesn't care that you're a big bitch. He's fucking you. Yeah. Yeah, He's already was a big bitch when he seen you. Take the bra (laughs) off ride the dick do let a good job okay let the titty let slap them in the face it's every titty soft. looks different yes. everybody don't want to fuck a bag of bones Come on. you know and yes. the, the best way to ride dick you you feel like you look weird but the weirder you feel like you look the better them walls is hitting you really gotta like move around I call mm-hmm. it the snake I got a little snake position and I know you said you can't do everything with the same nigga I do everything the same with the niggas and they all <laughs> act like they never had it before and so just bitch get a move and stick with it and see how they feel but whisper in his ear also if you don't know what yes, else to yes. do just whisper some Ask nasty him. shit yes. yeah I'm gonna answer as the nigga okay we know you're big, show. Okay, that don't matter. It don't. Who gives a fuck? Nobody gives a fuck. I seen it when we seen you. more cushion. You know for the push. Amen. Mm-hmm. You hear me? And um, take the bra because I'm, I'm sure. You take know. that bra. Off. They be trying to get a little titty in their mouth when you on please. top. Take it off. They be trying I, I mean, to get to mine and they ain't going no fucking where. <laughs> they be trying to get their head up and be like, "Come here, baby." Wait, okay. You feel they me? be sucking on mine. And let me tell you something. After I got my surgery, my left one is I can't feel anymore in it, and yeah, they right. and that's the main one they be sucking because it's bigger than the right. Mm. Let them suck them titties. You feel me? And that's honestly what a nigga like really like would love you. Honestly, like when he realized when a girl you ride, don't, I mean, you don't care. You don't care. You're not and worried about. You ride that shit confidence. good. It's the confidence. That's really what the thing with sex. Don't nobody care. About, they ain't. It really ain't about the size and none of that shit. If you got the confidence to really, and you fucking the shit out of shawty. You good. That is the real shit, and that's everybody. That's the men like women shit. to be confident, yes. and women like men to be confident because it translates mm-hmm. during the sex. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying, like. You can't tell me when I when I'm fucking a bitch I ain't got a six pack and I'm picking it. I you feel what I'm saying like you can't talk to me like I'm not because that's how I'm fucking you. Like, it's like when somebody's hitting it from the back and you can tell they want to slap your ass but they're scared. I'm turned off. Nigga, slap, me. Sla- slap it hard. Slap, slap it. The what? fuck I'm scared of? Yeah, okay. I don't know. Don't be scared of nothing when you fucking me. Like, what is there to be scared of? Why? We I already did. Know. We want we to. Did. We here. And here's another tip I will say because I just thought about it because sometimes when I be riding dick I get tired, right? You need to. You can practice this by yourself. Get a pillow on your bed. Straddle the pillow. Get in front of a mirror if you can. I don't know how your room is set up. You need to find a cute position where you can rest an arm back mm. and maybe like oh lean God. back. That's gonna make yes. everything flatter. Look lean good. back and then he can see everything. It's gonna be. It's gonna be good. Trust me. I've yes. seen it on the camera. It looks great. It looks amazing. Mm. Yeah. Um. Or even if you have to rest that elbow by him, whisper in his ear while you do it. Like make those little rest breaks. A little bit sexier. And if you don't know Hold what to hair. whisper in his ear, uh-huh. this is what I'm going to tell you. I, I really be saying this to everybody. What you be saying? 
You fuck me so good. Tell him that. And then he's going to be like, oh. And That's going to turn him up. It's going to turn him up. Yeah. It's going to turn him and up. And tell that nigga to look at you. Because personally, me, sometimes I close my eyes a lot during sex. Because sometimes I just can't handle I feel like if I did have a day, I'd definitely be a, a quick nutter. Like, <laughs> for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, hands the fuck down. Because I can't look at certain shit. I'd be like, yo, don't look at me. And I'm like, last time me and Shia were getting to it. And she was like, look at me. I'm just like, I can't. I can't, I can't. I'm doing that. I'll grab him by the neck. I'll no, grab him yo, by the throat. Like, look at look him. At at me. Me. Say my name. And that's when I knew I fell in love. No. <laughs> it's a little spell we do. Like, yo. <laughs> so, little sis, try all these things out. And please, 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 we can't say this enough. Please. Don't be scared. When you're Don't. having sex, there Don't. is nothing to be scared of unless you're actually in danger. And it sounds like he's really into you. <laughs> like, because that is real, too. You don't want to be weird sex. Yeah, yeah, you don't. So, enjoy it. Well, there, I always say yeah. this. There's so many bad things that can come from sex. STDs, a baby. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> like, don't. Like, so while you're in the moment, enjoy it, bro. Enjoy mm -hmm. it. Yes, please. And enjoy it. You oh, It only lasts for so long. You have a fucking, be like, damn, I want to fuck some more. And you can't go for a round two, but sometimes you just want that round one to last a little bit long. Mm -hmm. right. Enjoy it. Over. Be in that moment. and yeah. It's your time to shine. Please, yeah. ride that dick. Send us an update. Yeah. Send us the video. <laughs> <laughs> and you can send the video at 404. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. It says, dick was good, but fuck you. Hey, ladies. So long story short, this dude and I have been playfully flirting on social media for once um, until we finally exchanged numbers and started FaceTiming and texting, etc. The conversations were mostly always sexual, so I could tell he just wanted to fuck and I could tell he was not boyfriend material. But I decided to wait it out to learn more. What you waiting on? But OK. Um, he showed me the dick on FaceTime and the size caught my attention. So I decided that he was going um, that he was going to be my dick provider since I'm single and not dating. I mean, that's all he's good for at this point. We decided to link finally and went bowling and then back to his house to fuck. It was so good. He almost made me orgasm. Almost doesn't count. Um, Damn, since then, our Damn. schedules haven't allowed us to see each other. But he be saying a little slick shit on Twitter that proves that he is a narcissist. But I almost feel like he thinks I'm just one of his hoes and that I want to be with him. And I don't. So my question is, should I cuss him out <laughs> or just sadly cut off the super good dick since he want to indirectly treat me like I'm a hoe? He never treated me like that to me. To my face, but I think um, I just have a guilty conscience that I fucked him the first night we met. Teach me how to be a tough bitch because clearly fuck buddies aren't for me. Love your podcast personality. Sorry, it's all over the place. And then one of blah, blah, blah. Faith little sis. Okay. Men don't uh, respond well to a cuss out. Like, I feel like yeah. if you use all that energy to cuss him out, it's going to make you even more mad because he's not going to respond and how he you want him to. Shit. And he's going to keep talking Talk shit. And then, he, and then he knows that he got you upset. So th that is never, I've done that before, but that's never my, anymore. I don't do that anymore because that, that just doesn't work. So you have to play it almost like how niggas play it. And unfortunately, like, you'll just have to cry to your girlfriends when you really are sad about it because I know you are. Mm -hmm. um, so, but you, in front of him, you got to put on your poker face you don't even acknowledge what the fuck he's doing every mm -hmm. now and again when he does hit you up to fuck ignore it D or pick it up and say you don't i'm not i'm not busy i'm not free right now like I can, mm -hmm. even if you just be busy even if you don't have anything to do you have to sometimes treat these niggas with zero respect and that that catches their attention way more than you cussing them out a cuss yeah. out is about to get you blocked mm -hmm. but don't do any of that shit if you still gonna fuck him yeah then oh just well, i was still gonna fuck him I would still fuck him. Oh. Unless yeah, her feelings just can't handle it. <laughs> it seemed like her feelings couldn't handle okay, it. Okay, if your like, feelings can't handle it, then no. Because she's saying the fuck isn't for her. Well, she yeah, she's tweets. in her feelings too much. She's too deep. Well, if she can Definitely. handle it, you have a window of time to reverse it, but you got to yes. keep fucking him to reverse <laughs> yes. it. you got to. Yes. But if you can't handle it, I get it. Mm -hmm. Don't do not do it. I can, but don't do it if you can. And you are definitely <laughs> one of his his little hoes that he talking about. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. all right. He's your cool. little hoe, too. Yeah, they just, that's how you got to look at it. Yeah. He's like, your hoe, too. If that's your hoe, that's my, my hoe, too. too. Okay? What? Future said it best. He, he talks to kids. And he knows about Listen hoes. to Future when you about to hit the nigga up. Yeah. You know yeah. yeah. Maybe you turn it up when you yeah. go. Play that's... with your pussy to Future, ladies. Oh, I'm a so nice. yeah, I've never done that. Really? Play with, your pussy. Yeah. Play with your pussy the monster. I'm a monster on these hoes. I'm a monster. Mm -hmm. 
Practice your Swear dick riding, God. girl, in the last email. Practice your dick riding to that. Yeah. That is going to turn your shit up Ooh, to another level. Yeah, don't fuck that nigga to nothing soft. Fuck that nigga to some baby. Yo, y'all ever fuck to the baby? Oh, my God. Yeah. I want to fuck that nigga. to a lot of ratchet shit. Yo. I'm thinking the little baby. I don't Yo. like the baby. That's the yeah. one that got the big old pit bull head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Nah, yeah. And that, I don't understand. I never understood why. He makes why, me mad. Yeah, you know what I mean? But he fuck it to his too. music. I remember I fucked to... Um, uh, I thought a broke nigga said something. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I would give y'all the back shot. Ah, ah, ah. And then, yo, when his verse came on, it's just like, something came over me. Mm-hmm. And I fucked the shit out there, bitch. She even say, every time I hear this song, I just think of you. I'm sure, shouty. And that's what you gonna do to this nigga. I, I, no, for real. And if it's future, he can't go nowhere without thinking about come you. On, never. Because you know they gonna play him They gonna club. play it. But come to Atlanta. If ever you feel sad, take a trip today. Mm. And just think about all them future songs and when you got there, put that pussy on them. Mm-hmm. Swear to God. And that's another good song, Put That Pussy On Them. Yeah. I love that song. I'm gonna listen to that. That's a car. future song? No, it's not future. Oh. Um, but it's just a good song for, you know... Girl, I hope Goodbye. you are okay. And uh, I don't I, know if she so, is, please, but... you need to send us an update as well because I just want to know, know what how happens. it goes. Mm-hmm. It's never fun trying to let a nigga no. know he hurt your feelings, but trying to do it in a yeah. gangster way. It's never, it's never. It's fun. I be letting be my sad. daddy. I be letting my dad know he hurt my feelings. He be like, bitch, please. <laughs> so just imagine, just my daddy. You know what I mean? And I be like, yo, bro, you should just. He be like, all right, I get it, but yo, this too much for me. <laughs> I was trying to play it strong with the nigga. I just ended up having to stop it. We were on a date at the restaurant and. And the waitress came and she was like, oh, y'all are so cute. He was like, we not dating. And I was like, damn. He well, damn, you didn't damn, want to play for tears. I'm not even no for the waitress. He wanted to hit he the waitress did, too. You're just supposed to smile he, and laugh. No, he was just real. cracking. Right. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going to go home. No, yeah, I'm going to leave. No, I, I can't do this like no that. more. I have been really being strong and like mm-hmm. really. Just go to the other side, y'all. You'd have been there. I have been there, but it didn't go well. Uh, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. All right, and on that note, we're going to move on to the <laughs> cocktails or strap tails. I don't know what they're going to share today. Tails. Um, if you have one that you would like to share with us, send it to us at cocktails at cocktailspod.com. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But if you ain't got a buck, I won't cup Spend a hundred on me, it ain't nothing. Run a double piece, so stuff. Back to the point, is it some cash in this place? If it is, I'll probably see the stats in your face, turn around. Okay, so Sunny, do you have yours ready? Or you still need to think a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I got one. I got one. You ready. go first. Let's hear it. It's a funny one, right? All okay. right so I got they a funny, funny one. <laughs> no, they, I mean, fake dick is always funny. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to pour a little bit of this uh, Dumas. I'm going to have a shot. No, yeah, I take, you know what? Pour it all yeah. It's the end of the episode. I my have... drink is empty. Yours is, you want me to pour it in your drink? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to look at Oh, mm, yeah. <laughs> she said she gonna finish hers. Mm-hmm. No, that's right. Slurping on up. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, now. Nah. I like this. Yeah. Okay, this is a really cute bottle too, yeah. by the way. Yes, it is. I need to order some to put on my little bar cart. I like having a collection and it not being empty. I can't stand when somebody got a bar cart and ain't shit on there. What the fuck is this? That's here mine. For? Yeah, oh. my bad. Well, well you always two. have something when I come I over. Yeah, I got about two bottles on there. <laughs> you got to do better. Oh, you be like shit. My ain't friends be coming over long. and acting like it's an open bar. Hey. And I'm like, hold up. Right, this is for my niggas. Asses. You be like, no, I'm like, real. This is trying to get. This is for my niggas, but they be stocking it up. Like, how are you going to be depleting it before you come back? Thank okay. you. <sighs> did you put some in here? I did. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, Sunny. So, what's your story? Okay. So, take a sip. <laughs> so, what's your sip story? <laughs> Sips tea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I remember I, I was young. This I was still even living at my mama's house, mm-hmm. and this is girl. She wanted to, like fuck around with me and such shit. She was a stripper or whatever. And so I was like, all right, cool. I was young. And I only think I, I, I didn't even have a strap to even tell it. So mm-hmm. I'm going to tell y'all about this. That's why this story is so funny. Mm-hmm. So this girl, she wanted to fold me real bad. Little white girl, she was a stripper. And I was like, all right, cool. Boom, boom, boom. But I really wasn't into her like that. Like, I uh-huh. tried to pass it to my brother. And he just. Because you really like brown brother. skin girls. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So I tried to pass it to my brother. I remember, I, like, she came to the crib one time. I was like, the girl want to fuck me, but I don't want to fuck. Like, can you come get her? <laughs> can you come fuck her? Because, you know, he, he went in there and he was just like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Damn, did nobody want to fuck her. Nobody want to So, um, but like I said, I didn't have a strap. But uh-huh. I, it was this girl I did like. 
And she wanted to fuck. So I was like, all right, cool. But like, I didn't have a strap. So uh, like the little stripper girl, she came back. She was like, all right, when I get out of work, I'm going to hit you up. But I had pussy lined up for the next day with me and the girl. Mm-hmm. So old girl hit me up. She was like, oh, I want to come get you. But when I get out of work, my, you know, she's a stripper. So she picked me up like four in the morning. So I was like, well, you know, I don't got a dick. You got to go get it. <laughs> 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 gotta go pick it up. <laughs> gotta go pick the dick up. <laughs> so, you know, thank God, Six Door shot at the Starship. They open 24-7. Mm-hmm. So we was able to, you know, go there and get the dick. Mm-hmm. So in my mind, I'm like, I ain't gonna fuck this girl. I'm gonna use this dick to fuck the girl tomorrow. You know what Don't I mean? You gonna so, be sleepy? Yeah, I was gonna just play it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and... <laughs> And what happened? So we went back to her apartment. She was trying to fuck. Like I said, I just I wasn't finna eat her pussy. Like okay. this just been my model since I was a kid. I was just like, all right, well I'm not finna eat her pussy, but you know, I'll fuck her. But mm-hmm. she wasn't really getting wet like that. And I wasn't trying to do the most because I really I didn't, didn't want to do all that. Like, I just wanted the strap. I was young. I, you wanted that I was, free strap. Even, I wanted a free strap. I was young. I was. Those things are a little pricey sometimes. That was my first time rapping, so I really had no bread. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't want to fuck on me. I was cute. So I was like, all right, but dicks are expensive, number one. Yeah, they are. I spent more money on dick than a straight woman. I know and that. And that's why I like regular. Uh, wow. I like the ones that are grown. You know what I mean? Homegrown. Yo, I'm not buying that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, boom, we get the strap. We go back to her crib. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to fuck. I'm trying to like get it, get her wet without eating the pussy and really doing the most. Because I really didn't want to kiss that's a girl. A I didn't want to do nothing. It was that a is. challenge. It yeah. didn't go down. You were really acting like a nigga for real. Yeah, you didn't want to yeah. kiss her. You didn't want to eat that Nothing. I didn't want to do nothing. Just and then get I felt this pussy bad. wet. Y'all should have got some lube. No, for real. We should have got the lube with the strap. But like I said, I was young. This is young. Oh, yeah. Young stuff. Don't know doing, I don't know young. what I'm doing for real. I barely know. How, I just got the strap. I out. barely know how to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, end up being a fail of a fuck, but I got the strap. <laughs> Took the strap home. Was it still in the box? I, you know, I tried it. to play oh. around with it. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, all right, boom. But, you know, we didn't use it for real because it never went inside. So, boom. Got the strap. God was looking out. God was looking out. Got the strap. Somebody and said, hitting I said, the girl. pussy dry up. Yeah, hell. The- <laughs> <laughs> and it dried. <laughs> we want to see today. <laughs> End up fucking the girl I wanted to fuck, and everything was amazing. You know what I mean? Is that the one you was fucking for 10 years? Nah, hell no. That that was one night. We ain't talked since because she probably was like, never again. Because you was just ready to fuck, just Uh, happy and slanging the dick around. Hey, I got the new dick. (laughs) You know, it was my first dick because it was purple and shit. I ain't never. (laughs) I'd be be in there, like, I'd be like, is this my color or what? Do it, man. Oh, you try to match it up? I'm like, yo. Do you name them? Huh? Do you name them? I don't. No, one of them was named Lawn Daddy. We had a little girth on it too. It wasn't just long. The first mm-hmm. masculine lesbian that I had sex with and let strap me down, she had, it was a, a white man's penis. And I was so, was so confused because she was a black woman. It was pink, but it was the one that actually looks like it. It wasn't just like a, an oval. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like, it actually looked like a penis and it was a white man's penis. And I was just yeah. like, she have a color I color. always <laughs> get black ones, but now, like, out in L.A., they only had white ones, and it was like... Oh, so yours was white, too? This you gotta stop that while you my re- No, seriously, I told, I was like, look, I gotta buy a new dick while I'm out here, because this, you know what I mean, this is mold- molded off southern niggas' dicks out here, versus I'm in L.A., it's a little... It's cool, it's girthy, but it could be a little long, because I'm tall, and I don't want to be all up on that no ass little dick. Right. to really, like, be mm-hmm. in that shit, so that would really be pissing me off. It's either too long and narrow, or it's too damn thick. Y'all seen one of the motherfuckers about the size of your arm we got yeah, one we got yeah. one it's heavy as fuck I've never who used it who is using it. that you know what I, I mean I didn't use it I know y'all didn't but who I did take that. use it on accident in a threesome and the, the girl's accident. boyfriend used oh, wow. it and oh. I didn't even realize he was using it because I was so wet uh-huh. Oh, I know it was that crazy. Was you know like when that thing get wet, like so anything can go in that motherfucker. The body is an amazing. Yo, it really is. No, I'd be scared. Like what the fuck? You know, you gotta remember, babies come out that motherfucker. That's true. Well, I ain't had no baby come out of this one, and I just be a little concerned. Like, don't break this shit before I get to his final owner. Right? Like, what the fuck? Nah, for real. My dad seen my thing one time, and my mom, he was like, "You know, your mama showed me your dick." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Tom's like, come here, come here, come here. Like, yeah, but like, he said, I, she done went in there and got the shoebox. <laughs> Not the shoebox. Yeah, you that's know what I mean? And then one time, last time I was in town, I was putting up with these chicks. I was like, let me go buy a dick and shit. And I ain't even fucking it. He was like, I seen that thing you left in my closet. <laughs> you out here, don't be doing that to nobody. <laughs> now that's just too big. What nigga supposed to follow up after that? 
He felt, he felt offended. That's he probably right. was holding that shit like, oh, hell no. I love your relationship with your father. Like, Let me just say that. Girl, I should have asked you this earlier, but did you used to have like little sleepovers in high school and stuff when you knew you was trying to eat a little pussy? Man, you know. And be playing remember, boyfriend and girlfriend. You know what? One time girlfriend and girlfriend. I spent the night at one of my friends' house. We was, I was like, we were seniors in high school and shit. And I still think about it to this day. I said, I really could have fucked both of them. Cause one of them were kind of like pushing that ass up on me, but I was scared too. I, I mm. happened to a couple sleepovers where girls kind of try me, mm-hmm. but I was scary as fuck. Well. Like, bitch, I was go always to playing boyfriend and girlfriend. You even go to school and tell on me. Mm-hmm. With girls. <laughs> and we would rotate who was the mom and the dad and who was the dog. Yeah, when I was a the kid, dog. that hunt, that hunt. <laughs> You know what? You sound Thanks like that girl. Here. Exactly. The girl who went and said, fuck in the dog. That's you said, the dog, dude. No, like, the dog just walked around and I guess no, you was... Like, <laughs> I don't know. When, when you were the sleep- dog, you basically who were just... Who was that? Did you sleep You were just overs. watching them kiss and rub on each other. Like, it was it was weird. If they listened to that, we never talked about it, but we would play boyfriend and girlfriend and someone yeah. had to be the dog and someone had to be the boyfriend and the girlfriend. And we would play house and make little mud pies. It was, yeah, play house was inter- fun. Watch what your kids is doing. <laughs> no, because kids real. is in here playing boyfriend and girlfriend with two girls. <laughs> and guess what? And the third and girl is a goddamn dog. You know what I mean? A voyeuristic dog. Just watch it. <laughs> just watch. You're probably sitting over there in heat. Yo, <laughs> trying to rub her little legs just together. And see the what she can do. You know what? I can't. I can't. I, just, not I used breathe. to play house, but I just we used to call it women because it was not enough boys. We just used women, to play women. women. women, women, women. Y'all like sexual? Women. No, I just was extremely bossy. Ain't shit changed, but I used to make. Remember what's I told your son? you, Virgo. Oh, okay, but yeah, what's your son? I'm a Libra. Oh, I'm a Gemini. Yeah. That's like a perfect match. Did you no, know that? I know it. I That's love crazy. y'all. I love y'all. Y'all be cheating though, but we, I love y'all. We, we do be cheating. <laughs> y'all we're honest it. about it. No, for real. We be cheating. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> do we have time for another cocktail? Yeah. You think so? You want to read it, or you want me to read it? Um. <laughs> I really I haven't laughed this hard in a very long time my (laughs) eye is juicy that is wild I'll read it hopefully this one is good okay it says I'll let them carry on their flirtations and I'm going to read a cocktail called the cake cocktail All right. Um, hi ladies, love you and the podcast. Can't wait to see you guys at one of the live shows. Can't Hope you wait. bought your ticket. Get your All right. Today. <laughs> um, back in 2009, I met a man. Let's call him Lawrence on Twitter, and we hit it off. We lived in different states, and we're both in serious relationships. Fast forward to present day, we're both married, not to each other, oh. but meet up in a different city about two to three times a year. Mm. Spontaneity is our thing, so we um, so we leave each city with a sex story we can't tell any of our close friends. You are living the life, bitch. Girl, <laughs> the bitch is gonna be sad when oh they get caught up. God, God. and this Yo, is gonna be why evidence. Y'all just won't marry each other if y'all because they be probably don't have a regular yeah, it, it a good connection. Role yeah, play, though, role play. Mm. Okay, <laughs> both of us <laughs> like nah, bitch. Just keep oh, cheating. Nah. We just gonna keep it what it is. Okay, recently Lauren and I met up in Denver for a weekend during a Rocky Mountain tour at an elevation of about 13,000 feet mm-hmm. the guy mm-hmm. gave the group the guide gave the group 30 minutes to explore on our own yes, we wandered off and found a path with trees on either side pick attached for reference I'm gonna go back to the email and look at the picture we looked at each oh, other God. smiled and walked towards the trees once we thought we were out of sight I squatted down and started sucking Lauren's dick feverishly Ooh. the thought of getting caught turned us on so much he pulled me up turned me around hiked up my dress and put his dick inside me now let me tell you I've been fucking Lawrence for over a decade but Man. this was probably the hardest I've ever felt his dick get when I tell you rock hard, I mean rock hard, baby. My knees got uh, weaker with each stroke as he kissed and bit on my shoulder. Mm. My body started shaking until I came so hard, which made him come as well. We cleaned up. I had a few wipes in my bag as mm. best we could and I'm headed back to the group. Once we returned to the room, we fucked like rabbits, round after round after round, only stopping to eat and take quick naps. We fucked in the shower, on the bathroom counter, against the the floor to ceiling window with the curtains open, on the desk, the couch, etc. My pussy was so sore after that weekend, but baby, this pussy was satisfied. Until next time, Mrs. Have My Cake and Eat It Too. Yes! They was fucking in the Christmas tree. Let me tell you, y'all ain't you never fucked what? outside? Not, n- not no. like that. I'm the best. No, I fucked outside like that. Like that? And I mean, I swear to God. 
the it, best the, shit I've never tried. I've ever had in my life. life. When she said that her pussy was sore, have you ever fucked so much that your pussy is actually swollen? You try yeah. to have sex and it can't okay. even go. You look at it and it's swollen. Uh -huh. Everything is. Yeah. You look it's at all it. red and shit. Like, yeah, I want to fuck you too, but I know it's, you're Now we're hurting. Pain. He's Don't hurting. Don't even I'm everybody hurting. hurt. We, we just, just lay down. down. That's that good type of sex. I remember one time I was fucking a nigga so much one night and we knew we weren't going to see each other again. He put me in the hotel rolly chair and rolled me out the door into the hallway, the stairwell, and we started fucking in the stairwell <laughs> in the little chair. We done you broke the chair. And he rolled me back to the patio. We rolled rolling around in the office chair. What are we doing? Having good sex. You hear me? And shout out to you, sis. A cake cocktail. Oh, I, know. I hope that was a good that was people a don't good figure this out. Fun. God. That Damn. was good. Uh, that made me get a flashback. Yeah. 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 Like, Let me tell you, I, fuck, I fucked in a part like a couple months ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. Man. Mm. I mean, like, I don't know, because I'm so used to fucking in the crib and, and mm. like, chick I'm fucking with now, she be like... Let's go. She's just like, just, you know, like she said, spontaneity. So we would, we were fucking in the car. I mean, we would go find random streets to go park on. That's exciting. We fucked in the fucking, uh, <laughs> in the park. Let me tell y'all. I'm the it type is for spontaneous amazing. sex. The, my partner has to pull it out of me. I won't suggest it. Yeah, she pulled it out of me. And I mean, we pulled up at the park and pulled up on the side of the street and just, we got outside. It was amazing. It was top tier. That's like my favorite type of porn, too. Yeah, that was fun, though. Good times. Yes, God. Good times, good times. Time. Damn. Go. Hmm. All right, Sunny MF. Thank you so much for, for coming on the show. This was, yeah. I wasn't sure what to expect. You have exceeded my expectations. Mm. Thank you. Let do it in other ways, too. Ooh, y'all better. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um. You know, yes, we're so glad that you came. Tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me at 404. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> nah, she you, wants me to get her phone number so bad. I'm, I'm going to get to you later. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in on Kiki. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but now you guys can uh, follow me on Instagram. That's Sunny MF. That's S U N I dot MF. Twitter, S U N I MF. You feel what I'm saying? Check out the music. And yeah, it's a vibe. You know what I mean? If you think I'm cute. <laughs> Have you ever fucked to your own music? Yes, I have, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder if Beyonce does that. I think it's vital. Probably. Yeah. She probably tests out some songs. You got to. Does. Like, got I to. sang this little melody to Jay last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that mm -hmm. shit got out. Jay tight. I definitely think that's what happened with Rocket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like Drunken Love was one of them. I know they fucked it up. They had to. The way she said, uh huh. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right. <laughs> That's a moan. That ain't even like a run. I used to sing that song with this man that I have no business fucking because we used to always be drunk together. That was some good set. Mm -hmm. It's the, always oh, well. the sex that you feel like you're not supposed to be doing That'd at be a place. Oh, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. God. It's horrible. We're yeah. all going I can't to wait to see them again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So make sure you guys get your tickets to the live shows. The tickets, um, the links are in the description box. Make sure that you are signed up for Patreon. Um, anything that we promote on the show, you can find all those links below. And uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram. We're at Cocktails Podcast. I'm at Kiki Said So. I'm at Coffee Bean Dean. And until next week, you guys, goodbye. goodbye. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.